dear students so i'm back with the next part and i'll be explaining you about estimating the difference finding the missing numbers and a few other topics in subtraction here we have the topic estimating the difference we generally in the previous videos have already explained you about estimating a number to nearest uh, tens hundreds thousands like if it is 75 and you have to estimate to nearest 100 it is 8 uh, uh, 75 nearest sorry if you have the number as 788 and you have to estimate to nearest hundreds it will be 800 and suppose the number is 15 you have to estimate to nearest tens it will be 20 so if uh, if you i give you a number as 273 and estimate it to nearest tens so it will be 270 but if I estimate it to nearest hundreds, it will be 300. So be careful while estimating a number. Read the question properly whether they are asking you to estimate it to nearest tens, hundreds or thousand. Now let us move on to the question. The question is you have to estimate and you have to find the difference. You have to subtract 1,158. 1, from 1569. So first of all what we have done here is we first of all we need to find the actual sum in this question what we have done or we can say first of all we will estimate it to nearest tens. So 1569 nearest tens is 1570. 1158 nearest tens is 1160. Here the actual difference of these two numbers is 411 and when you subtract these two numbers you will get 410 or you can do another thing which is the other way to do it. First of all you subtract it and then you estimate it to the nearest tens or hundreds as per the question. So even if we subtract first and then find the estimated difference, then we will subtract and the estimation is 410. So while solving the questions, read the question properly and try to understand it. Because suppose uh, if the question is estimate to nearest tens and then find the difference, then first of all you have to estimate it and then find the difference or if the question is find the difference and estimate to nearest hundreds it means first of all you will find the difference and then you will estimate to the uh, nearest hundreds or tens as per the question so read the questions properly whether it is asking to estimate first and then find the difference or find the difference and estimate the uh, estimated to nearest ones tens or hundreds. Now let us move to the next part that is finding the missing number. You will uh, get in your maybe you may get it in your assignment or you have to uh, in your day to day life also you get such questions. So to find the missing number to find the greatest of the missing number are the difference to the smaller number. To find the greatest of the missing number, it means that if you are asked to find this number, greatest of the missing number, what you have to do? You have to add the difference and the smaller number. It means you are going to add these two numbers, then you will get the greatest of the missing number. So, I hope it is clear to find the greatest of the missing number, add the difference and the smaller number. Now, to find the smaller of the missing number, subtract the difference from the greater number. Suppose if you have to find this number now, if this number is missing from there, then what you need to do, subtract the difference. This is the difference. You have to subtract it from the greater number. It means you will subtract 7000 from 7120. You will get the smaller of the 
missing number. I hope this is clear. Now let us move on to mixed problem. Mixed problem means in these problem in such uh, type in suppose sorry in mixed problem you will get questions related to addition as well as subtraction. So for that first of all you need to add the numbers. You need to add the numbers which are having plus sign before it and then you will subtract it. Uh, subtract the number which is having a negative sign or minus sign before it. Like two uh, sorry 210 plus 731 and you have to subtract 411. So the numbers that are having plus sign. I have uh, told you in the uh, previous lesson as well that if there is no sign before a number it means it is plus. Okay? If there is no sign before a number, it means uh, before the first number, it means it is plus. So, 210 plus 731, the result is 941. And you have to subtract 411. So, this sum, you will subtract 411 from the sum of these two numbers. So, the sum of these two numbers is 9. When we subtract 411 from it, the result is 530. Now, let us see another example. In this example, you have 2 minus sign. This is a sign of subtraction. You have 2 of them. So, first of all, you don't need to panic. Oh, after this, we have subtraction. We can't subtract these two numbers. We will first. First of all, we will add the numbers that are having plus sign. 173 plus 223. We will add these two numbers and the sum of these two numbers is 396. So, after that, the next number, the next uh, step is subtract the number which is having minus sign before it, 240. When we subtract these two numbers, from the result of these two numbers, when we subtract uh, 240, we get 182. So, the difference is 182. Now, we need to subtract 111 from it. So, when we subtract it, we get 71. It means, first of all, you will add the numbers having plus sign. Then, one by one, subtract the numbers having negative sign or minus sign before it. I hope this is still here. It is clear. So, let us move on to things to remember. Few things that you need to remember that you need to keep it in your mind. We cannot change the order of number in subtraction. In subtraction, you cannot change the order because we always subtract a smaller number from the greater one. Whereas in addition, we can change the order of the number which is known as order property. But in subtraction, we cannot change the order of number. This is just because we have to subtract the smaller number from the greater one. When a number is subtracted from itself, the difference obtained is zero. If you subtract any number, suppose if we subtract 7 from 7, when a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is always 0. Or 500 minus 500, 2220 minus 2220. So, when a number is subtracted from itself, the result is always 0. Now, when 0 is subtracted from a number, the difference is the number itself. Like if I write 2173 minus 0, the result is the number itself, 2173. So if you get such questions and fill in the blanks, you don't need to show the working. It's clear that when we subtract 0 from a number, the result of the difference is the number itself. Now, if there is no sign before the first number, its sign is always taken as plus. As I have explained here, if there is no sign before a number, like if I write, uh, if I write twenty plus.
plus 30 minus 10. So, no sign, there is no sign before this number, it means it is plus. So, if there is no sign before the first number, it is plus. I hope uh, these were the few important points or the topic or in subtraction. I hope I have covered the topics that are given in the book of standard 3 in subtraction. Uh, and you were able to grasp it, you were able to understand it. And you will solve the given questions without any problem. And in future, I'll try to solve means clear all your doubts. Hope you enjoyed the class.